Welcome back to Rich Chase to Channel. In this class, we're going to learn how to make this beautiful, classy, off shoulder cow blouse. It can be a blouse or a dress. Still the same method. We're going to be learning how to make this in this class. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this, I'm making mine as a blouse. You can make yours as a dress. Still the same thing. It shows the difference in the length. So I have drafted my basic bodies, okay, this is my chest line, this is my waist line, and this is my full blouse length, okay. So this does not have a dart, it's a dartless body, I just drafted it with my regular measurement. So I have one pattern for my front and one for my back. You can also use this to draft for your back after adjusting it, because I just want this to be clear. So I'm just going to label this as the back and this as the front okay so what i'm going to do now is just to transfer my my chest line because the length that i want for my back the neck depth for the back is going to be on the chest line which is here so i'm just going to fold this over so that i can just cut it off like that and then we keep the back and work on the front so this is going to be the neck depth that i have for my back and it's an off shoulder body so i don't want to cut my front pattern okay so that is it there and then i'm just going to cut this out now and this is going to be my pattern for the back so i'll just keep it and then i'm going to indicate this as the upper part because it looks similar then i'm going to work on the front so to create the cow effect that we have on the front remember this is my chest line so from the upper part here, it's an off shoulder. So I'm just going to create the off shoulder pattern first. I'll just divide what I have here into two. Or you just work with any neck depth that you want to work with. My chest line is my chest line is nine inches. So the by two is going to give me four and a half inches. And then I'm going to make that into a straight line. So after making it into a straight line, I'm going to cut it off. So this is going to be the depth for the neck of my front okay so this pattern now that you are cutting off from the front and then the one that we have cut from the back i'm just going to measure it and that is what i'm going to use to make my strap okay for joining it together that's going to be my strap so i have about 13 inches here so i'll just keep that in mind so now to create our cow neckline on my chest line here yeah, you can also slash it on this on this chest line but here I'm just going to come up by 0.75 inches and then on that mark I'm going to mark a straight line so this straight line that I have here is going to be my slash line that I'm going to spread to introduce volume for the cow so here I'm just going to come in with my scissors and then cut to the tip but not completely so after cutting to the tip i'm going to bring in a fresh pattern and then i'm going to place it underneath okay so i have a new pattern here so what i'm going to do now is just to match the center point to the center point of this pattern and then i'm going to hold it down before i spread so i held it with my masking tape the next thing is to spread it to the desired volume that you want okay so from where it stops which is here i believe you can see the marker line there so i'm just going to open it by around five inches so you can see five inches and then i'm going to spread this like this up to the five inches mark you can see so here i'm just going to hold this down as well so this is the volume that i want for my cow you can do more or less depending on the amount of fall that you want on that side so here now we are going to be cutting this facing for the front together with our pattern so to create that facing i'm just going to take my ruler now and then draw like a diagonal line up to this center point remember it's going to be cut on fold okay so now i'll just place it following what i already have here and then i'm just going to complete it like that so after completing it i'm just going to fold this line that i have here i'm going to fold it inwards you can hold this to 
together with a masking tape as well so that it matches exactly so what i'm going to do now is just to fold along this line that i have here okay okay i hope you understand what i'm doing so now i have folded along this diagonal line that i have there so after doing this now i'm going to go ahead and trace my hand hole remember there is no sleeve to this and i'm cutting the facing together so that i can neatly finish the hand hole area i'm going to be cutting facing for it as well so now i'm just tracing what i have on my hand hole okay and for the facing to fall i'm just going to come down on the side a bit by one to three inches it's fine so i'm going to stop it there which is where i'm going to stop my facing I hope the camera captured it. After folding, what I did was just to connect, draw my hand hole so that I can cut facing for my hand hole, and then I just came down here on the side a bit. So the next thing now is to cut this. So what I'm going to cut first is the excess that I have. Remember, this is my center line, so I don't need this excess. So I'm going to cut it off. It's not supposed to be there. Okay. So now back to our pattern. I'm going to cut my arm hole facing. Okay. then after cutting the arm opening i'm just going to go down by the two inches extra that i left okay so i'm just going to stop it over there so after stopping it all of this now i don't need it okay so after stopping it now what i'm going to do now is to bring out this shape that i have remember it stops here okay it stops there so the next thing I'm going to do now is to connect from where my arm hole stops, where my facing stops there, all the way to this center point here that I have in front, using my ruler. So my ruler cannot take this hole as well, so I'm just going to do it in bits. Okay, so now after connecting like that, I'm going to bring in my scissors and then I'll cut this out. So this is what I have. Okay. So after folding it, now you can see this is going to be what I'm going to use for my facing. So because of the shape of the ham hole is for a big size, when I'm cutting, I'm just going to increase this a bit so that I can have a little allowance over there. So now this is the pattern that I have. The next thing is just for me to go ahead and cut this on my fabric. So after laying my fabric on the table fabric is on fold remember this part has to be cut on fold so i'll just place it on it and then i'll cut the exact pattern that i have on this point with no alteration i'm not going to be adding any same allowance because i already have some allowance on my part i'm just going to add a little to this because this place is a bit tiny so i have cut out my pattern and this is what it looks like you can see the center fold you can see my arm fold there so once i fold it over like this it's just going to hem my arm hole neatly for me and then i'm going to now detach the pins and then for the back it's simple i just place this on my fabric this center part unfold as well and then i cut it out so because the back does not have a facing yet i went ahead to cut facing for the back with my fabric okay so you just place it and then you cut what you have on the upper part and then the legs can be as long as you want so now i'm going to detach the pin so that we can sew okay so now when we open it out remember it's on fold like this so when we open it out this is what it's going to look like and this is the upper part of our facing so now you want this part to be neat so you go ahead and search it or you just hem it inwards whichever one you want to do make sure it's neat so after making that part neat the next thing now is to start to sew it so remember our ham hole i'm going to match the ham hole together just like this then the strap that we measured earlier that's what we removed from the front and back remember i measured 13 inches so the 13 inches now i've gone ahead to use that to cut out a strap and then i turned it out okay so now one edge of the strap i'm just going to suspend it in between the remember this is our lining and this is now our main fabric so now i'm going to just place it at the edge here okay this is the other part of the hand hole this is the part where it's attached to the neckline so i'm just going to place it here like this and then i'm going to pin it down okay 
so you make sure everything aligns you can start pinning from here so that you don't make mistakes and after pinning is when you get to this edge you fix your rope and then you pin so that you can sew easily okay so i'm just bringing it out a bit and then i'm going to pin it as well so after pinning it i'll take it to the sewing machine and then run a stitch like that and then i'll do the same thing for this other side as well okay so i've gone ahead to sew it now i'm just going to notch it where necessary and then i'm going to turn it back so that we can sew this strap for the back as well so i've notched it now the next thing is for me to flip it over and then you can see now that the strap is fixed and the hand hole is clean as well so your facing can be as long as you want I don't have too much fabric so I'm just going to make do with what I have so you can just go ahead and top stitch on it so that I can relax well or you just hang on it and then you can use your aiming glue to hold it down so I'm going to do the same thing for the other side as well and then you can see that it is clean on this part as well so now this is just going to be inside and this is how our strap is going to see. you can see now that the far cow is ready for me so now the next thing is to sew this to the back as well okay so for the back i'm going to put it on fold now and notch the center point so that i can mark out where i want to place my strap so i have placed my notch there and then i'm just going to open it up okay so now this is where my notch is so from the notch i'm going to measure four inches to this side or four and a half inches depending on how big the person is okay so i'm measuring four and quarter to this side from my notch and then from here again i'm going to measure another four and quarter so now i have my chalk there this is where i'm going to be placing my strap so now to place the strap you make sure that it is not bent okay this is where you want to add you by the time you're done so now we're going to place it like this and then for the other side i'm going to trace it as well and then i'm going to place it like this so after placing it you hold it with your pin i'm going to bring in my facing okay and then i'm just going to lay it on it so that the strap is going to be in between the facing and the main fabric and then i'm going to soak okay so i have sewn the back as well and you can see that my strap is in between so now if you need to notch it to notch the sharp corners as well and then we're going to turn this half so that we can sew this side so it's pretty easy to make this cow blouse or shoulder cow blouse as you can see that's all you need to do so after turning it out you can go ahead and hang on it as well or you just top stitch on it so now this is what we have so the next thing to do now is to lay this right side facing right side and then we'll take it to the sewing machine and then we'll sew so now i'll take it to my sewing machine now so you can see now that they match they have to match since it's the same side measurement to use so i'll just place it like this and then sew with my seam allowance so i have gone ahead to join this on this side so the last thing to do now is to hem it on the lower part and then you search this side so now turning it to the right side this is what it looks like so this is for a big size like i said okay so the strap is going to come like this and then i'm going to arrange the sides and then all of this volume that we have here is what is going to form our cow so on this part now remember my light my facing for the front is very short that's why it's working now so i'm just going to use my aiming gum to iron it down so now this is the strap that we have and then this is the volume that we have on the center front so i'll take you to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like okay so now this is what it looks like on the mannequin you can see our cow that we formed there and you can see that the facing is suspended inside it's not going to be obvious and you can see how clean the armhole is as well okay so now if you don't want yours to be this full you can just open your cow by four inches i usually use four inches i just started to touch this five inches to see what it's going to look like and you can make this into a blouse just like i have done or you make it a dress 
it's very simple as we have seen and it's really classy and beautiful you can use silk fabric for this for a shining effect a very beautiful silk fabric will really be nice for this type of outfit I hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.